Well, hello, alumni group. Uh, just wanted to say hi. Um, I'm Phil Mitchell. I'm the director of counseling here at the HopeQuest Ministry Group. And so I've had the privilege of being a part of these environments for 16 years now. Um, some of you, I had the privilege of being your individual therapist, uh, but most of you, I would have just had the opportunity of getting to be a part of your life and your journey here through leading the groups and, and facilitating those. And so just had an uh, opportunity to get to share my heart with you guys and um, you know, just share some of my thoughts as, uh, again, as even as a therapist, I'm constantly developing and the way I approach things. Um, as a alumni, a lot of times people think that we're gonna get on here and I'll say something specifically you know, about recovery and, uh, and sobriety. And those are all things that I could spend a lot of time talking about. Um, but I think my favorite uh, heartbeat that I share a lot is that um, because I'm a clinical psychotherapist, um, I love to talk a lot more about what's going on in the personality structure in your heart rather than just addiction specific related sobriety. And so kind of to offer just an encouragement to you, one of the things that has been really on my heart um, a lot lately as I continue to grow in my own therapeutic models is again just really connecting into our history and the different ways that things have impacted us over the years and um, and then being able to be more aware in the moment of what's actually going on inside of us. Um, some of you guys that are uh, newer um, uh, achievements from uh, Hope Quest are uh, probably more familiar with mindfulness activities and mindfulness is great and and those are really helpful to you know get us more in touch with being aware of what's going on in, inside of us in the moment um, but one of my real heartbeats is recognizing what we call affect dysregulation um, and then distress tolerance and uh, so most of us ha have things going on in us a lot and and we can get activated and most of us just don't even realize it and uh, and when we get activated we don't always respond uh, cognitively or using our brain and cognitions in an effective way because we get that uh, emotions overwhelm us and so emotions typically that emotional logic can overwhelm us and not make us think clear so whether it's related to acting out or whether it's related to just our interpersonal relationships um, that uh, being able to stay emotionally regulated and, re and and really know what's going on inside of you and then be able to kind of pause uh, get yourself calmed down and respond and help healthy way is just so crucial and so I think that that's what's uh, so helpful for relationships uh, some of you guys are married and, and, and get the natural tensions and things that go along with life and marriage life some of you have children and um, you know I have children and so those things can trigger the crap out of you at times and and so it's just really um, that's been one of the things I've been targeting a lot lately just in my own life and with clients is really uh, that emotional regulation piece um, and really gaining a sense of agency in your own life then because um, you're not being controlled by your emotions um, or your mind racing off to conclusions and thoughts and distorted beliefs and you know all those things that you learn about while you're in here and you're actually able to be aware of what's going on uh, so that you can respond appropriately. <laughs> 